the El Popco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson with Gina Mizell. Gina, the combine is underway for mm -hmm. the NFL in Indianapolis. A lot of Cowboys doing their thing. Brandon Whedon threw over mm -hmm. the weekend, which was a question. Why did he decide to throw? Well, when I talked to him a week ago, um, I, you know, just while he was training, he said he wanted to throw just because he's like, well, I'm a quarterback and quarterbacks throw the football, so why not show off, you know, what my biggest strength is? But a lot of the top quarterback prospects don't throw. Andrew Luck didn't throw. Robert Griffin III didn't throw. Ryan Tannehill didn't throw. He's injured, so that's a little bit different. But they use the argument that they don't know these receivers and they don't have that chemistry, and so um, they're worried about not completing passes. But Really, they just want to see you throw. All 32 teams are there. They want to see the ball come out of your hands. They want to see placement. They want to see footwork. And they just kind of, they want to see you throw live. So it seemed like that was the biggest reason why he wanted to do it, just because, you know, he's a quarterback and he wants to throw. And um, I'm sure the scouts were happy that he did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of things he did not do, he will do at OSU's Pro Day here mm -hmm. in, in a little, little under two weeks. But what were people saying after they saw him throw? What was the consensus among people out there? I think he did, he had a fairly good performance. Kirk Cousins from Michigan State is kind of regarded as the guy that probably out of all the quarterbacks had the best day um, as far as throwing the football and he could potentially move up the board but you know some people said he was maybe a little bit inconsistent but again you know completing passes isn't exactly what the combine is about on especially um, you know on stuff like deep post corner routes if you overthrow the receiver you're not really throwing to the receiver you're throwing to the cone that's on the sideline so um, yeah he did he complete all of his passes no but you know was he super erratic no so I think it was a solid performance again you combine that with the tape that they already have on him when he's going to do it his pro day when he is throwing to Justin Blackman and Josh Cooper and people like that and um, I think you know he he's set himself up you know pretty well over these past few weeks okay do we have a sense of where he gets drafted at this point I mean I think right now I would say probably a second round pick potentially a late first round pick it's going to depend on how these other quarterbacks fall again we saw four quarterbacks taken in the first 12 picks last year and guys like Jake Locker and or, excuse me uh, Christian Ponder going in the top 12 and I don't think any of us thought that was going to happen. So, I mean, teams are desperate for quarterbacks. I think right now, um, Andrew Luck and Robert Griffin, obviously, this are the top two. Ryan Tannehill seems to be the consensus at number three. And Whedon seems to be to be after that. So it's just going to depend on, you know, which team pulls a, tr pulls a trigger. If it's a team maybe like, you know, Denver in the late first round or if it's, you know, a team in the second round that wants to uh, draft him. All right. Thanks, Gina. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.